In this video, we will learn how we can handle multiple lines of text in one cell. So let's say for example here, I have two authors in, in for this book, Wings of Fire. And let's say for example, I want to reduce the width of this column. And in some case you have to do this because let's imagine that you have lots of data, a lot more columns on the right then if you want to get everything on one screen, you may have to reduce the column width. And when you do that, you can obviously see that the author name is not completely visible, only you can see one author, not the second author. So in such cases, we talked about one of the methods to apply wrap text. And you can see here the wrap text, and this will automatically increase the row height so that you can see the entire cell's content. And in this case, it came out very nicely. Both authors are in different lines as they appear here. But in the cell content, they actually are together in one line, but they just appear to be here because we wrapped the text. And let's say, for example, I want to increase the width of this column again. And now the author name Arun Tiwari is split between two lines. And, and in this is just again in display. Actually, it's stored together here. Now, another technique what you can do if you really want to control what appears in one line and the other in a cell's content, you can create a line break and I'm going to explain how. So I can go to the edit mode and I can click here in the formula bar and enter into the edit mode. And now if I use the keyboard shortcut alt enter, what it does is actually it creates a line break and it has created an extra line in, in the cell. And now it's not clearly visible now and that's because the formula bar is not tall enough to show the entire content. If I take my mouse to the edge here near the formula bar anywhere and if I drag it down, then you can see the entire content. There's also a scroll bar here which you can use to scroll to see more content. In this case, we can see the content of the cell now in split in two lines and the first author name comma and then there is a space which is in the second line and then this. So if I want to edit it, I can just remove it and now they appear to be in two separate lines and if I hit enter, now you can see that they will appear in two separate lines and even if I increase the width, they will still appear. and. Again, this is not going to solve all the problems with having longer text, but I just want to illustrate that you have control over telling Excel when the line should end by introducing a line break. And even in this situation, if I make the column width to be really, really small, it doesn't display the first author's name in one line as we want. So. Again, this doesn't solve all the issues with displaying long text, but this is another technique that you can use whenever you have wide enough column width, you can make sure that the text appears as you want by introducing a line break. 